In this episode of Stream Robot Bytes, learn how to make a Ouija board channel point report. We can ask it any question and for it to show you the answer. And clearly see here, the answer is a very, very good one. Hello, and welcome to Stream Robot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome Stream Robot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier to get started and to add functionality to your stream. Let's get started with the topic for this video. The first thing you need to do is you need to follow the link in the description below to download the package which contains everything we need to get this set up. You can then look at the contents of that zip file and you can copy all of these to where you want to keep them. So in my computer it's C drive, Steam, Stream stuff and Ouija. So index HTML, script, or JS and style, CSS are for using the actual control itself and does the animations. You have the responses here as well, which is a predefined set here. Feel free to edit those and it'll, from um, each time the channel points reward, it'll pick a random entry from here. So you can use whatever you want in your channel. And finally, we have the import text for the stream robot itself. Next, we need to add a browser source to OBS to use. Please note that you do need to have OBS connected to Streamerbot, and there's a Streamerbot Bytes video for that if you haven't done that already. So we can add in a browser source. We call it a relevant name, it doesn't really matter, it's as long as it's something you are aware of. Then we need to set up the following the URL, put a back blank. Please note do not select the local file, because that will break this. What we also need to do here, which is slightly different to the other videos we've done so far with anything that's using HTML, is we need to remove the custom CSS. This will specifically break the, uh, the Ouija board animation. Once we set this up, that's everything all ready to go. What we can do here, I'm just gonna make it a little bit larger so we can see it a bit more on the stream when we go around to testing. Set up Streamerbot, we copy from the import.txt and paste it into the Streamerbot itself. Then import the actions that are added there. Please know it adds in the queue for itself, so it, it uh, has a blocking queue. If you have a queue you can reuse, feel free to change it to something there. We need to edit quite a few of these lines actually, um, but they're, they're not, not too difficult to do. So the first one is we need to pick where the responses.txt is. And we'll actually see it's actually in the right folder for me, but you'll probably need to browse to the responses.txt there. You'll need to select the correct browser source. So alerts and leader here. And also make sure the URL also points to the same location. So you might well need to change this part highlighted here. So I use stream stuff and the media. If it's in a different location, point to that location. Just change this part, leave everything else. What you need to do then is the final set browser source. Again, make sure it matches the same browser source. Now, if you have this in multiple scenes, the same source, that's fine. You can just pick one scene the browser source will synchronize across those automatically. And if you want, you can customize the, the message. So we have user here is asking what they've typed in, and then we get the random line, which is the response. We then need to set up a channel point reward or command, depending on what you want to use it for. So I'm going to use the channel point reward. So I'm going to So we can to ask there, 
and see what response we get. And then select the action to be here. You might have cooldowns, things like that. We also need to make sure that we have a user input required here. Once you click on OK there, that's then there and ready to go. And now we're ready to test. So we just pick the channel point reward. And then ask a question and we'll get a response. And we can see we're getting a uh, I see dead people as a response. And we then put that message into the chat to wrap it up. And this part's optional. I'm just going to go through the sub actions and just show you what's happening in each of these. The first one, we're just putting in a random line from the responses. And it puts it into a variable for us using the basic functionality, nothing fancy there. We're then injecting into the browser source the HTML file we have there, but also we're passing in the message, which is a random line response here. Now we know in the animation, actually, we're very fortunate that each letter is a fixed amount of time. So we're using C sharp here to get the message, which is a random line, and it looks at the length of that message, multiplies that by 1.25 seconds, and adds another two seconds on top afterwards. And then we put a delay of that. So basically we're telling the execution to wait until we've gone through and processed the animation. Then we send a message to chat, and then we can clear up the browser source back to a blank page so it doesn't show. And there we have it. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or also on Discord. Check my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. So the links to my Twitch, social media and to Strina Bot can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide Strina Bot content can be found in the description too. Finally, thank you so much to Nate for making a great bot. Please do consider supporting his Patreon, which is linked from streamer.bot.